up, stick out this hand, turn it over. Okay, so we're going to work in the pronated position. I need to know my landmarks. First, we're going to do our exterior bone. So let's work on the thumb side. What would be my landmark to find his scaphoid? How do I know where his scaphoid is? It is the anatomical snuff box. Stick out your thumb. Okay, so there's a snuff box. That's a good start. I also know, by, know it by the radial styloid, right? If I find the radial styloid, which is right there, I go just past it. That must be his scaphoid. There's my thumb on top of it. There's my reinforced index finger below it. Here's my stabilization. See what I'm doing. I'm going right up the middle of the wrist and no, no farther than that. So Because I want to leave this area free to move. So it's here, a little bit of flexion. Just tell me if you have any pain or discomfort. I'm going to spring down. Anything there? And spring up. So this would be P to A, A to P. Simple enough, right? Then I got to go to the trapezium. What's my landmark? The bim. Right? Remember we said each of these distal row carpals, if you slide backwards, you'll feel the bump. There it is. A little bit farther, that must be his trapezium. Tell me if you have any pain. Spring down, spring up. And really, I've only moved a quarter of an inch, right? Because that's as far as it is. But, you know, the landmarks will tell me where these structures, you know, these carpals are. I just have to know the landmarks. So there's my trapezium, down and up. Let's go over to the other side, the other exterior bones. Well, on this side, how do I find the triquetrum? What's my landmark? The ulnar bump, right? There's his bump. But just past that, that must be where the triquetrum lives. So there's my stabilization right up the middle. Going to flex the wrist, open it, take the hand away just a little bit to open up the joint area. Spring down, spring up. And I have to finish off now with the handmate. Well, how do I find that? Well, here's his fourth and fifth. There's his little bump at the base of each of those. Just go past it. Just come directly underneath. I should, now should be on the handmate. Spring down, spring up. Any tenderness there? Okay, now. When you start doing this, you'll feel, you know what, I can feel his pisiform right there. Well, if I'm on his pisiform, am I on his handmate? No, that's on what bone? Yeah, so I better slide off of that and make sure that I'm only on his handmate. Okay, so, you know, you start to pick up these landmarks as you're, and you can feel them as you're working around the wrist. Now, you know, as we said last time, these bones will be where they're at. You know, the famous anatomist, Dr. Eddie Murphy was, was exactly right, right, when, he, when the question was asked, right, you know, where, 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 are, you, where are you going to be? Well, I will be where I'm at. These carpals will be where they're at. When are you going to get there? Well, you'll be there when you get there, right? So you find the landmarks, you know that the, what, the scaphoid will always be at where it's at, which is right past the styloid of the radius. The trapezium will always be right past the bump at the base of the first metacarpal. It will be where it's at. You just got to know where it's at. Right? Same thing with uh, here I'm doing his. There's his, his um, bump at the distal end of his ulna, so I must be on his triquetrum. There's the bump at the base of his metacarpal, so I must be on the hemate. Spring down, spring up. Radio, let's try that. <laughs>